Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for July, going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well guys. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, it is time stamped, okay, this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle. Okay, so feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. As I always say, please take what resonates and just kind of leave what doesn't. Okay, and of course, if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there could be just me one more. just messages throughout that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to uh, support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality there we go it just doesn't feel right there we go better okay so just give me a moment to take this in and i'll be back Okay, so Capricorn, let's start your reading. And of course, for those of you who don't know, the center card just um, represents the state of the current connection. We've got the two main cards up here, which represents how you're both showing up. And then behind the scenes, what you're both thinking, feeling regarding each other. Then, of course, where you both move to next. Take whatever side resonates with you guys. Picking up is this being your side, plus don't deal with over here. But you can always flip, switch, whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay. All right, so Capricorn, you know, what I'm, what I'm kind of seeing is, is there is some form of judgment when it comes to this relationship. I say judgment in terms of, I'm not sure whether it's you or this person, you're both contributing to this, but there's some form of in to toxicity. And I say only toxicity because it's not conducive to where this relationship should be going based on maybe what you both have agreed upon or maybe what you want, but it's kind of not really conducive to, you know, moving in that direction. There's something that's stopping it, which is this toxicity. I'm not sure whether that's a habit or someone, you know, and we'll get into and we'll see behind the scenes what and whom it might be, but someone maybe engaging in something like, you know, drinking, partying too much, or again, just something that's conducive or not conducive to where this relationship can go or where it should be going really yeah how you're both showing up is really interesting capricorn because they're showing up as there's a choice that they need to make um and you're showing up as being indecisive which is quite interesting you know you're like this um back and forth type of uh, there's something that you go back and forth on something that you go back and forth on you would know what that means. We'll see once we get behind the scenes. But yeah, it's something that you go back and forth on. You're indecisive. One minute you think one way, way next minute you think the other. For some of you, you can actually justify each idea or both options or, you know, each way of thinking. Um, and it's like, what do I what do I choose? I'm just kind of indecisive about, about this. I'm not sure. I'm not stable on one option or one way of seeing something or taking something even this could even be like i said um just maybe how you see something just being indecisive not sure whether you should see it in that way or not where them your person capricorn there's it seems like there's a choice for them to make a choice for them to make there's two options here uh, and they have this choice to make not sure i'm not seeing any at the moment, any free of, of cups to say that it's maybe a person could be. Doesn't have to be, though, you'll know. But just going behind the scenes, this person could be or have, you know, this person could be bread crumbing. It's like they're offering something small, nothing too, you know, extravagant. They're not really putting in a lot. Um, and when I say pulling in a lot, that could be maybe just expressing their emotions. They're not saying too much about it. This could also represent them just kind of bread crumbing you in some way, shape or form. I'm not sure whether it's because they 
you know, it's based on going back to this choice. I'm not sure whether that's putting a a hole into maybe how much they can give or we'll see. Yeah, definitely something small though. Nothing, you know, it's not, it's not to say they're showering you with words of affirmation or emotions or, you know, dates or calls or anything. It's something that they're just kind of, what do they call that? Dripping? Yeah. It's this, um, it's, it, <laughs> that, that's, that's interesting. And that's what I said. It's, it's not to say that they're unable to, there's a reason why they're unable to. I feel like maybe this person is limited because we're the Ace of Cups and that represents love love that's something that they're needing to process and that's what it is Capricorn it's like I need to be sure I need to be what what am I feeling am I in love is this person you know it's like they're needing to process that ace of cups so they can only offer you something small they can only express maybe small um you know bits of affirmation here or there they can only really yeah yeah, because there's lack of clarity. It kind of mirrors that as well. It mirrors that Capricorn lack of clarity. Doesn't mean that they won't come into that. Again, it's this choice that they're needing to make. I feel like very much strongly that it ties back to this this um, choice that they're needing to make. Whether to go ahead with this or not, that could be it. That could be it. But definitely there's a lack of clarity around something around how to go about things which makes sense if this if this person is still kind of balancing and processing just what they think in terms of this love and this you know where they're at with that where they're at with that mm, not sure how to move just want one how to handle this, how to go about things, just not sure, there's a, just this lack of clarity, there's not to speak, just this lack of clarity around that, and the interesting thing though, Capricorn, it's not to say they don't want to birth something, let's see what, if there's any more light, we could shed some light on that, it's not to say that they're not wanting to birth, um, and you know, have this, you know, create something, yeah, do you see that, it's not to say that they don't want to, and, and, and embark on this new journey, this new chapter that would come from the creation of something, the birthing of something. That birthing could be the relationship, that birthing could be whatever it is that they're trying to decide upon, which is this, yeah, there we go. Ten of, ten of cups, emotional fulfillment. I mean, that says it all, doesn't it? Because they've got that justice card, I want to pull on this card this one more time. They've got this justice card, which Capricorn means that there is some, there's something that they feel there's been some injust. They're feeling like there's been maybe unfairly treated or some form of unfairness around that, around this for them. Yeah, with that justice card. And I feel like that's what's kind of preventing them from moving forward. Preventing them from, you know, we've got the page. Taking this in a new direction. Moving in that, you know, going in the direction of a, a new path. Um, yeah. Not sure what that is. You would know. Some of you might not even know. Maybe they've not expressed that to you. But there is some form of injustice, unfairness that they feel that they is going on. And they're wanting that ch a change. There we go. They're wanting a change. They're wanting a change. Yeah. They want to, and they want that change to just kind of be able to let that past go or whatever that is go that they feel, you know, have the towel moment where they just, you know, let that go, let it crumble, let it fall away. 
Let it break down. So I want to see who this Queen of Cups is representing. Look at that. The Empress again on top of the Queen of Cups. I feel like this is very much you, this Queen of Cups. You know, you could have displayed some form of, what is it, emotional maturity or just, you know, being patient and understanding. And the creation card, the Empress card on top of that, you know, mirroring what, what it is that they want in this creation of something, this buffing of something. But where they move into next, which is the Devil card, is quite, quite interesting. We'll clarify that in a minute once we look at your side. You do see this person, as much as there is this indecisive thing that's going on for you, uh, Capricorn, you do look at this person as being a blessing in some way. You do see them as being... Some of, yeah, a blessing in some way, something around maybe hesitation or um, moving slowly, moving slowly, but still thinking about this foundation or something around a foundation for you. Or it's been moving slowly. If it's them you're seeing as moving slowly. But there's that magician. There's a level of belief that you have that you can have what you want with this. Um, but again, it's, I want to clarify that foundation at four. Because you are thinking about this foundation. There's a bit of confusion around that. A confusion around that. Not sure whether that's options or... Yeah, it's confusion. Confusion. I'm not sure what's stopping you though, Capricorn. What what's going on here? What's stopping you? Because you do feel like you can have what you want with this person. But again, you've still got this indecisiveness going on. Not quite sure. Not able to rest on one way of being, thinking, seeing things. What you know, one 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 option, not not able to do that. Just want one. If I even need one, I feel like that <laughs> Capricorn clarifies and says says it all, really. You know? Yeah, there you go. Ten of Pentacles right on top of the Queen. It's like, I know I can have this. You know you can have this. So what is what is this indecisiveness about? Why do you feel the need to go back and forth on this? Not sure. Um, we'll see where you move to, which is that king. Let me clarify that because that talks about having some level of focus. So maybe you do because, oh, look at that again. We've got two kings, two kings of uh, wands as well. You know, this talks about, you know, focused drive, having heart while doing you know, going after what it is that you want. It's like having your focus on something and just moving towards it with heart, that type of thing. And you've got it twice. That's where you move to in terms of your thinking. But of course, we'll see how that unfolds and plays out. So maybe this indecisiveness clears up for you. Maybe this indecisiveness clears up for you. It seems to be the case. I'm going to just pull on one more card before we move into part two of the reading. Capricorn. Just want to see if it wants to speak. If not, we're just moving to... Um, okay, no. In terms of where they move into, which is that devil card. Which is that devil card. So they become... Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's that's a toxic energy, a toxic mindset in terms of having some form of attachment to something, but un unhealthy attachment, um, obsessive, obsessive attachment. You know this type of 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 thing. Yeah, and it's interesting because with the chariot, with this deck, all other decks I get this indecisiveness, but with this deck, I don't get that. There is this 
okay, there's initially an indecisiveness, but I end up resting on one way of thinking or one or, or on one way of doing something. And as much as I still might feel that pull back, I kind of override it with that choice that I've made or the option that I've made. And this person, you know, coupled with, you know, two major arcanas, one being the devil, which talks about this toxicity or just an unhealthy way of, of seeing things. I feel like that's more about obsession, obsessive, obsessively, you know, focused on, and that's kind of moving things forward, the idea of it, the thoughts within their thinking. But I'm going to move into part two of the reading, see how this plays out and unfolds for you both. Part two should be showing up on the screen as we speak, guys, so click on that. If not, you can always click on the Love and Singles playlist, that way you can indulge in more readings for the month. Um, see you guys in a bit.